welcome back. First and foremost, I have to apologize that we're starting this show a little bit late. Whoever you are watching us in the world, we're sincerely sorry, but you can be rest assured it is bumper pack with all the juicy and sweet segment that you're used to. Let's quickly get into uh, what happened yesterday. It was no uh, big flip that we had Bukana Faso, who their very best was the semi final they got to win the hosted, and they were in the semi finals in um, the last edition. Last edition. Good. Yes. So, back after uh, so many years, like eight, and then um, the last edition, they got to the semi finals. You will agree with me that they actually came to the party, but the superiority and the flair of the Senegalese, the Taranda Lions of Senegal, overpowered this team. Now, as is, let's quickly take a review of how you saw that game yesterday. The Senegalese were, were, were just too powerful for, for, for the Burkina, Burkina Bibs to, to argue. That's just my, my summary of the game. Mm. The Senegalese showed all the class. They, they, they really showed why they should be number one. They should be valued number one in Africa. You can, you can see almost everyone coming into the party. Idris Age, Sadio Mane, Koulibaly, Abu Diallo. They, they are top names in their various clubs. So they showed we are, they are no match for, for, for Burkina Faso at all. But if you look at the game critically, as is, you find out that the first 20 minutes, both teams were getting at each other and the tempo really got to a crescendo that everybody was like, whosoever wins this game deserves the final. It, 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 it went past the first 20 minutes. It was like that all through the game until I, I think 75 minutes or, so, or, mm. or something. And that's what, that, that's what champions do. They stick with it, hold on to it, then at, at the later minute they, they get the, the win. You, you can see Sadio Mane telling everybody to just keep grinding, keep grinding, we'll have it. They have a lot of chances. Give it to the Burkina Faso too. They were defensively structured, perfectly outlined their, their, their structure, but this, uh, the, the Triangle Lions are just too big for them. <laughs> Let's come to a very key point in that game. The collision between the goalkeeper and the Senegalese player. In, in, in most cases, this is where the paramedics actually comes to play their role. And we saw the essence of the paramedics in that particular game. Yes. The, the clash there, I, I think the goalkeeper just didn't calculate his, his swing enough. And, mm. and that was swift on the paramedic too. And I, I hope he's fine now. I didn't, yes, I didn't yes, see yes. much about him during he's the fine. press conference. Okay. So it, it's okay. We we can see that we are improving our parameters. There was a time when we have to <laughs> we have to come in with ice block. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> but but now it is it is getting better. I think and kudos to Car for, for for this competition. Let's come back to the game. Um, critically, you you find out that most of the balls were won in the midfield. Yes. There were no wing play. Yes. And it simply brings the very best of Sedomani and Traore. Uh, for you, what really? What picture do you want to create about yesterday's game and African football? I, I think it is, I, I don't know, aside Nigeria and some other team, and probably Ghana, who plays from the flank. Most other West African nations plays mostly in their midfield. Senegal in particular, mainly probably because most through the years, Alaji Diof probably, their best players have always come from the center. Okay. So probably it has enhanced their pattern of play. And Burkina Faso, I think they play from the midfield too. Yeah. It is, it is, it is. So it, it gives the game a, a very, very interesting edge yesterday. I love it. It was, it was stand tall and it, uh, it's like a clutch of irons against. Yeah, that's what I was coming to. What sort of yes. game were you expecting before that game kicked off? Actually, I was expecting Senegal to come in and, 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 and probably overwhelm Burkina Faso. But the fact that they can stand tall to you, the, the last 20 minutes of the game, it was, it was fascinating. They were not small teams yeah, and, and yeah. they stood their ground. Okay. I, I love that. Let's come to the players. Uh, okay, that's the, uh, that's the dressing room of the Senegalese after the game. And uh, we saw how very, very excited uh, Mandy was because he actually showed his class. But let's come to the game. Uh, which of the players actually impressed you from both sides? I, I, I would say Koulibaly. His leadership is, is, is exciting. It is, it is marvelous to see how he carries the team and how he, from the back, he marshals the team to go on and on and on. You can see uh, uh, his, his, his partner in defense had to go all the way to the front to create that goal and to score there. It was, I, 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 love, I love the way he, he does that. That is interesting. Now, Sedomani has become a very strong 
pivot um, angle for the Senegalese team. He had created more assists than any of the players in the team. The role he played yesterday, does it simply mean that uh, this is a new Sadman we're seeing? If he goes back to his club, the coach could use him for a different role because um, he wasn't the point man all through. Yes, he, he, he played more as an into him mid, uh, as an as an into him midfielder yesterday. A more deep ten. And, and that was, I, I think that is a regeneration of what Mane could do. Mm. You don't push him up front and expect people to work for him. It is better if he comes to create things. He can do magic. We, can, we, we saw how he displaced uh, Tapsoba yesterday and, yeah. and, and stole that goal. That was, goal. That, that was very, very marvelous. That was, that, that's Sadio Mane. He can do those things when he's more, not advanced to the post. He, he's not that kind of player. Because he started out as a winger, probably. Mm. But I, I, I love, I love that about about his game, and it, it could, it could be, it could be a new regeneration. But in Liverpool, I think he plays a, a completely different role. Yes, exactly. They need him to be closer to the to the post in Liverpool. So I don't know. Klopp knows the best way to, 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 to use players. it. Yes. Mm. Okay. Uh, uh, before the games, the um, Bukana Faso coach said they would die on the pitch, they will go all the way to win the trophy. That didn't come to pass. They, they did that, actually. Uh, they did that, but it didn't come to pass because they lost that ticket to be in the finals. Now, yes. For you, um, if you look at the rating of the teams in the AFCON, Bukanavi wasn't rated as teams that would get to the semis. Uh, how, how would you classify the Bukanavis and what expectations do you think the players themselves will be aspiring to right now, having played that fantastic game yesterday? Their coach has shown to everyone that a local can, coach, Olamata. Yes, that they can, they can, they can perform. They can perform. There was standing ovation for him from the Senegalese yes. media after after the match yesterday, and it was it is it is beautiful. We well can see that even with a club of players, Burkina Faso have they, they don't really have the luxurious players, the the PR and I agency players, but still they they are here. Mm. Algeria was nowhere, defending champions yeah. couldn't even match up to what they have done. Nigeria couldn't match up to what they have done. Ghana, who are better footballing nation than they are, they are, couldn't do what they have done. But it, it has shown their consistency. Mm. And probably they can, they can grow and, and, and excel from here. Very true, they can grow and excel from there. Now, the big, the big factor in most games has to do with the officiating. And yesterday, again, from my own opinion, or rather, let me keep my opinion. So you can hear from Aziz, I'll speak my later. How you classify and rate yesterday officiating between the Bukanabis and the Taranga Lions? I, I, I would give it a 60, a 60 over 100. I, I, would, I, I would give it that. I think the, the referee gave two penalties and, and, and VR said that. I, Even I, the yellow card. The yellow card was also rescinded. Yes, I, I think it's just more than the fact that our referees don't don't really give these things critical thinking. So what means if the VAR was in, was in, in place, he would have marred that match. But still, I still want to give him kudos because it takes a lot of guts. For there are some referees that will kick against the VAR and still uh, stand by that decision. But there were some very critical moments in that game that he took some very firm stand, and I think. Uh, that shows he knew what he wanted. What was. He said something after the game that God told him to end the game. <laughs> <laughs> that God told him to end this game now. And you, you could see that uh, at the end of 90 minutes, uh, what came up wasn't up to a minute. The game ended. So uh, for you, Aziz, yes. some of the referees we've seen bias officiating yesterday game. Uh, mind you, he's a Somalian. Yes. His nation is not in the Afcon because there have been this. Um, Cliche that countries that have their referee, like what we've seen today, a Gambian referee will be uh, in, in the center field between Cameroon and, and Egypt. Egypt. Uh, people feel there could be bias, but if you're professionally inclined, that shouldn't come to play. But for yesterday's game, there's a point I, I want to bring to your fore. There was no coordination between the assistant referees and the referee. I don't know if you noticed that. I, I, I didn't notice that particularly, but. <laughs> if if that is coming to play, that is that is that would be very so many shameful decisions taken. So many decisions taken at the touch line were solely done by the referee. Oh, I, I didn't notice that, but it would be very very disappointing, and and, and I don't I don't think it, that would be shameful on the, on the part of the referee. The other officials are there so that you can communicate with them and give the best results. And 
if you you don't do you don't do that, that's not professional enough. I, I that is bad. We're marching on. We're moving on. Yes, we've gotten the first finalist right here in the Afcon, and the will be marching on to wait for. Will it be a game of two lions, the Taranga Lions and the Mutubi Lions, or a game of the Lions and the Faroes? Well, time will tell. We'll quickly go on this break. We'll come back. We'll be looking at the game between Egypt and Cameroon, and it will interest you to know that some of the statistics that will be coming out are quite mind-blowing. We'll be right back. 